Hello YouTubers. This video is a small demo on how to create various techniques of object animation. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. By the help of the animations you can dynamize your objects, and the operator understands the process more easily. Let's get started. Find the basic objects in your toolbox, select circle shape and drag and drop it onto the screen. We have a static object on the screen, that doesn't give much information. If you start the project and activate corresponding screen, you will see this static object, or a shape as a part of the bigger picture. As I said it does nothing, it can be used as background for another object. Let's add a simple animation called flashing. Select your shape, find flashing from property list and select standard enabled type of flashing. Let's test it. Now we have a flashing shape. The flashing property is based on swapping color of the fill of the background with the color of the of the border, on the regular intervals. So background of shape changes between white and black, while color of the border changes between black and white. I will adjust the color of the shape a little bit. Let's make background color to something like green, border color let it be black, width let it be 2. Let's test it. Now it flashes between green and black. Let's change the color of the border to something like red and test the result. Let's add pseudo transparency effect. Make the color of the border same as background color of the screen. Now it looks like on and off effect. Let's change the color of the border to something like red, set the width of it to zero and test the result. Shape flashes green and red simultaneously without visible border. That is how standard flashing property works. It is uncontrollable, starts immediately after corresponding screen is activated. To add some control to the flashing, an animation called visibility is need to be used. This animation is used with tag connection. It means, that object visibility is changed in runtime depending on the value of the connected tag. Let's create tag of type pool, that will be connected to the visibility property. To invert the state of the tag I will use a button. 
Find one in the element in the toolbox and drag and drop it onto the screen. Write some meaningful text. Switch to the Events tab. Select on click event and find event called invert bit. Assign newly created bit. Now select circle. Switch to animations tab. Double click on add new animation that is under the display. Select visibility from dialog window and click OK. Assign newly created tag as process tag. Select single bit instead of range. At this point you have a possibility to select when your object will be visible. If you select visible, then it means, that object is visible when the state of the connected tag is logical one. If you select invisible, then it means that your object will be visible while the state of the connected tag is logical zero. In this example I will leave visibility as visible. It means that object will be visible while status of the connected tag is logical one. Let's see the result. At the beginning circle is not visible, as the tag, that is connected to the visibility property has a value of logical zero. Click the button to invert the state of the tag. Now the circle is visible and flashing. Click again and the circle is invisible. Now we have a flashing object with some minor control. Let's go more advanced. Instead of static flashing, let's use a tag from the PLC. Siemens PLCs have a memory area where 7 bits of different frequencies are stored. It is called clock memory. It needs to be activated in the properties of the CPU. Open hardware configuration of your CPU. Find system and clock memory under the general properties. Tick the check mark to activate the clock memory byte. By default it is MB0, but you can change to any suitable for you. Let's add one bit out of clock memory byte. Its state will toggle on the regular interval. Open HMI tags table and click on add new. Do not care about the name of the tag for now. Select configured PLC HMI connection instead of internal. Expand PLC tags and find one from clock memory area. Let it be of the frequency of 2 Hz. Next click on synchronize with a PLC tag and the name of tag will be changed according to the PLC tag name. Switch back to the screen with the object. Select circle, switch to the animation tab and select animation visibility. Replace process tag with newly created PLC tag. Switch to Properties tab and disable the flashing. Let's test it.
nothing happens, our object is invisible all the time. It is because tag acquisition cycle is longer than its state toggle cycle. To fix that switch to the tag table, find corresponding tag and change its acquisition cycle to something like 100 milliseconds. Let's try again. Now our circle reacts different way. Its color stays green, as background color is green. But it becomes invisible and stays that way while state of PLC tag is logical zero. Let's add some more control. From this point VB scripting comes to help. Let's create a setup, where flashing is connected to the tag. Open tags table and create a new internal tag of type bool. Switch to the screen with the circle. Select visibility from animations of the circle and replace connected tag with newly created one. Create a new VB script. I want that blinking is active only if it is enabled. For that purpose I will use if else statement. Scripting is done. Now we need to fire our script on tag value change event. Open tag table and select 2 Hz cycle tag. Switch to the events tab, and on value change event select newly created VB script. There is one more important step needed to be done, otherwise your application will not work. Switch to the properties tab of the tag, select settings, and change acquisition mode to cyclic continuous. All is done, let's test it. The circle is visible all the time unless flashing is enabled. These are the first steps into object animations. More will be in the upcoming videos. If this video was helpful please do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching and happy coding.